I thought I went up and down, uh, but I, I managed to find my best tennis when it mattered the most. You Novak Djokovic is the most clutch player of all time. Here's why. First of all, all members of the big three are extremely clutch players. I mean, you don't win 20 plus Grand Slam titles without being clutch. But still, there are levels of being clutch. And Novak is definitely the most clutch player of all time. Here's a list of matches won when being match point down. Many might be surprised over the big lead Roger has over Novak and Rafa, but we gotta remember that Roger has played many more games than them both. Things get interesting when we also look at matches lost when being match point up. As you can see, Novak loses much less matches while being match point up compared to Roger and Rafa. I think what we can conclude from these stats is that Roger and Rafa are maybe just as good as Novak when it comes to handle the pressure when being match point down. But it's the ability to not fumble the win when being match point up that separates Novak from these two. Novak almost never let the nerves get to him when he has the chance to seal the deal. Let's have a look at some stats collected by ultimatetennisstatistics.com. This site has a stat category called mental toughness, where they calculate what they call mental points. Mental points are calculated from results in best of 3 deciding sets, best of 5 deciding sets, finals matches, non-deciding set tie breaks, and deciding set tie breaks. Here's a list of the big 3's mental points won and mental points lost. Yet again, Novak has a better ratio between good and bad results in clutch scenarios compared to Roger and Rafa. Even when we narrow it to results against top 10 opponents, is Novak better? And this is still the case against top 5 opponents. And here are some other interesting statistical categories that can show how clutch a player is. Novak has better numbers than Rafa and Roger in almost all categories. Stats and numbers in all honor. I think the biggest reason that makes us fans think he's the most clutch player is his clutch performances in big matches. In 2010, he saved two match points and then won the whole match against Federer in the US Open semifinals. A year later, he did the same exact thing. He defeated Nadal from a breakdown in the 5th set in the Australian Open final in 2012. And maybe the most famous case, the 2019 Wimbledon final. Federer had played better the whole match, but somehow Novak saves his best tennis for the most crucial points of the match and saves two match points, and later wins the whole match. Moments like these make Djokovic the most clutch tennis player of all time.